Australian beverages such as wine, beer and fruit juice are enjoying a reputation in Korea as being premium products and they are becoming increasingly popular. The Korea-Australia Free Trade Agreement, or CAFTA, is helping to capitalise on this good reputation by reducing trade and investment barriers, making it easier for Australians to do business with Korea. Since CAFTA has been introduced, it's allowed more freedom to explore import opportunities into South Korea, which is extremely exciting. This will see beverage tariffs of between 15 and 54% eliminated, which will open up exciting new opportunities for Australian beverage exporters. I've been importing orange juice from Australia for 10 years. Customs duty was 54% for orange juice, now 22% FTA. That means uh, I can make a very good profit and then I'm pushing a strong marketing strategy in the field. Even small price down will make great market opportunity. The best effect is uh, down the price. It's the best way to make the business better. That's the best point of FTA. We're starting to already see, since the CAFTAs come in, a real sudden growth in, uh, in wine exports to, to Korea. For us, uh, being family owned and run, um, the best way that we can increase our bottom line basically is through volume and turnover. Having these free trade agreements basically increases where we can sell our wines, it increases production. It, it gives us this opportunity for more volumes to go through. Yeah, so we're very excited about the future. The importer's interest has definitely been peaked with the introduction of CAFTA. Uh, they seem really enthusiastic about trying Australian craft beers, but obviously the price factor is very important in that conversation. So uh, it's interesting to note that a lot of the importers that we've met have mentioned CAFTA um, and the impact that it, that it might have on negotiating imports from Australia.